What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again. Today, we are talking about dividing a decimal dividend by a whole number divisor. This is video two on our dividing decimals playlist. We hope you'll check out the other ones. Let's uh, dive right in. So our objective today, today I will be able to divide a decimal dividend by a whole number divisor, right? So we're worried about um, dividing decimals, and we're going to be using the standard algorithm of division. So hopefully you'll check out the link to our song right here. Uh, you can, that hopefully is right there. You can click on. Um, but our lyrics that we're going to use for this kind of embody our steps, actually, right? Um, but it goes divisions like magic poof. If it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. If it's in the divisor, a secret to confide. All you got to do is slide, slide, right? And so today we're talking about if the decimal is in the dividend. So as our lyrics go, if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. So let's check out our steps that kind of go along with the lyrics from our song. If there is a decimal in the dividend, here are your steps for success, right? Step number one, you want to estimate. You always want to estimate, and you can do it in your head, just to make sure that when you get your answer at the end, that it is a reasonable answer. And you can use this to check to make sure your decimal's in uh, the, next to the proper digits so the place values are correct. Step number two, you're going to divide like normal. Okay, so you're just going to divide like it's a whole number, um, and we'll show you a little bit. I'll uh, show you an example of that in a second. And then step number three, you're going to raise that decimal to right to the roof, right? And so it's going to be very important that your place values are lined up, which we will talk about as we go. And then step number four, you're going to keep on keeping on. What that means, you just you keep dividing. And so this is really important when you get to remainders and writing remainders as decimals. Um, but we did want to add that in here just so you can kind of see it. And then later in the playlist, this will make a little bit more sense right here. So estimate, divide like normal, raise it to the roof, and then as always, you want to check to make sure that your answer is reasonable using the estimate you had in your head. So right here, I have 2 and 35 hundredths divided by 5, right? And so if I'm estimating this, I'm going to round that to 2, 2 divided by 5, which is really 2 fifths, and this is work you could kind of do in your head, which equals 4 tenths. So I think my answer is going to be somewhere around 4 tenths or 40 hundredths. This is kind of my estimate. And again, this would be going on in my head. But step number two, we're going to divide like normal. So I'm going to put my dividend inside of the division box, whatever you call that. And my divisor goes on the outside just like normal. And just like we did with our standard algorithm song, how many groups? Multiply, subtract, bring down. So how many groups of five go into two? The answer to that is zero. Now, this is why it's so important. This is why I make my students put the zero above the two. Some teachers teach just to go right to the next number and make this a 23. However, you need to make sure your decimal place values, I'm sorry, that your place values are lined up properly. So if you have a zero in the ones place, you need to make sure you put that zero in the ones place to make sure that your decimal doesn't get mixed up. So multiply, that's going to be 5 times 0, 0. Subtract, we get 2. Bring down our next digit, which is 23. And so we are going to say, okay, how many groups of 5 go into 23? And the answer to that is 4. Okay, 5 times 4 is 20. We're going to subtract, which is 3. And then we're going to bring down our 5. Okay, so now how many groups of 5 go into 35? Obviously, the answer to that is 7. So five times thirty or five, five times seven is thirty-five. We're going to subtract and get a zero. However, my estimate was not forty-seven. My estimate was forty hundreds, which means I did something wrong, right? Well, I forgot step three, which is if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof. So if you just bring this decimal straight up, your answer now becomes zero and forty-seven hundredths. You don't need to be intimidated by dividing decimals if you're just following the steps if you know how to divide and if you're neat. If I didn't put my zero right here, some people would have written your 47, right? And so let me just kind of, oop, that's crooked, but that's okay because, right? So some people might have put your 47 right here, which is going to make your answer four and seven tenths, right? So I, that's why I've always taught, make sure you put your zero here, even if you want to call it a place value holder, to make sure that your um, place values are lined up properly. Let's try another one. So go ahead and pause the video. You try this one, okay, and then push play, and um, I'll solve it, and you can check your work as you went. Hopefully you just uh, paused it and solved it. So let's go ahead and check this out, right? And so I have 43 and 6 tenths, right, divided by 4. 
if I round this to 40 in my head, I think my answer should be somewhere around 10, right? Because 40 divided by 4 would be about 10. So now we're going to divide like normal. I like to write my steps up here. How many groups multiply, subtract, bring down. We have an awesome standard algorithm song of division if you need help with that. So how many groups of 4 fit into 4? 1. When I multiply, I get 4. I'm going to subtract, which is 0. And I'm going to bring down, which it, now I have 3. Now I start back over. How many groups of 4 fit into 3? Well, that's 0. I'm going to multiply, which is 0, subtract, 3, bring down my 6, 36. How many groups of 4 go into 36? The answer to that is 9. So I have 4 times 9, which is 36, and we get a 0. And now my estimate was about 10. I have 109, which means I did something wrong, and oh yeah, I forgot to raise it to the roof, right? And you can actually do that first if you want, um, as long as you do it, and then your answer should be 10 and 9 tenths. So you're dividing like normal, you're just raising it to the roof. Hopefully this has really helped you maybe take some of the mystery out of how you can divide decimals. Check out our next few videos to figure out what to do when there's a two-digit divisor or when the decimal's in the divisor or if it happens to be in the divisor in the dividend. Um, keep tuning in. Please check us out on YouTube at Instructed Beats Official. We would love for you to subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at Instructed Beats. Instructed Beats out.